Hi, in this video, let's create this simple slider using HTML and CSS. Here in the HTML file, we have a div and I've given it a class of slider. Now this div contains all the main images that will be displayed on the slider. Each of this image has a height of 400 pixel and a width of 620 pixel. At the bottom, we have a div and I've given it a class of thumb. This div will contain all the thumbnail images for the main image. The thumbnail images have a height of 100 pixel and a width of 200 pixel. And that is all we require for the HTML. Now let's have a look in the browser. And this is what we have for now. Let's go to our CSS file and add some styles. So here in the CSS file, all I have is some basic reset. Now let's select the div with the class of slider. We'll give it a width of 620 pixel. And this width is equal to the width of the main image. Also, let's give it a display of flex. Now, if we check in our browser, this is what we have. However, we only want to display one image in our slider. So let's give it an overflow of hidden. So we'll see overflow hidden. And this looks better. Also, let's add some margin between the main image and the thumbnail images. So we'll select the div with the class of thumb and we'll give it a margin to the top of 0.6 rem. And you can see that some margin has been added just above the thumbnail images. Also, let's give every individual thumbnail image a margin to the right. So we'll select the div with the class of thumb and we'll select the individual images. We'll say margin right 0.3 rem. Now let's vertically and horizontally center the slider. So we'll select the body. We'll first give it a height of 100 VH. We'll set the display to flex. Justify content to the center. Align items to the center. Now if we check in the browser, you can see that the thumbnail images have been moved to the right of the main image. And that is because the display of flex gives it a default flex direction of row. So let's change it to column. So we'll say flex direction and we'll set it to column. And this is exactly what we need. Also, let's give the body a background color. We'll give it a background color of 122833. Now, just to slightly differentiate the main image from the thumbnail images, let's give the slider a border. So we'll go to the top. And here, we'll give the slider a border of 5 pixel solid white. And now our main image has a border of 5 pixel solid white. Also, if you notice, the thumbnail images are not rightly aligned with the main image. So let's give the div with the class of thumb a margin to the left. So we'll say margin left of 3 rem. And this looks better. Finally, let's give the thumbnail images a border on hover. So we'll go to the very bottom. We'll say image colon hover. And we'll give it a thick border of 5 pixel solid FFF which is white. Now when I hover over the thumbnail images, you can see that the border is being added to the width and the height of the images. And that is not what we want. So instead of giving it a border, let's give it an outline. So here we'll simply change the border to outline. And this looks fine. Now the last thing we need is we want the slider to display the image based on the thumbnail that is being clicked. Now in order to do that, we need to go to our HTML file. So let's do that. So the first thing we are going to do in our HTML file is give the main images an ID. I'll give this first image an ID of IMG1. I'll simply copy this. This will be IMG2. And this will be IMG3. Now we simply need to link these main images to their respective thumbnails. So let's do that. So here, I'll add the hash sign and I'll add the name of the ID given to the first main image, which is image one. Let's do the same for the remaining two. 
this will be image 2 and this will be 3 and that is it now let's check it in a browser so when I click on the second thumbnail you can see that it is being displayed in the slider and it's the same for the third thumbnail and the first one finally let's give a slider a smooth scrolling so we'll go to a CSS file and for the div with the class of slider we'll be using the scroll behavior property and we'll set its value to smooth now let's check it in the browser and the smooth scrolling has been added so this was an easy way to create a smooth scrolling slider using HTML and CSS so hope you like the video I'll see you in another one till then have a nice day